So the long-awaited gauntlet update has arrived. So for those of you guys that are camping gauntlet for either uh, money or the blade or the pet like me, you will definitely find this update to be quite enticing. Most notably, the staff got buffed. So the staff, known by many, is to be the worst weapon of them all at the gauntlet by noticeable margins. You know, while the Halley and the bow can hit upwards of 42 and 41, the staff before this update was only able to hit like a 33 or 34 max, which is ridiculous, right? In, in a sense, but um, yeah, it was also notorious for not hitting as accurately, but let's be fair. Hunlev just sometimes can tank all kinds of, you know, weapons regardless. But either way, the staff is nuts now. It can max 13.9, and that's without any prayer modification. So if you don't have Argery and stuff like that, it's actually really good because it hits a 39 without prayer. Unlike the bow and the Halley, in order to achieve the 40s, you need Piety and uh, Rigor. So the staff has that advantage if you're missing some of the higher level prayers. Especially for purists, you would love this. So the staff is, is a crazy change. So I'm going to go ahead and test it right now and uh, let you guys know the results, of course. Oh, that's a big hit. What is that? 38, definitely uh, a new damage that I've never seen before with the, with the staff previously. So, that's already very nice. So, let me just see if I can hit that the 39. Yeah, this one still took 4 minutes with the staff, so... So, yeah, man, we're still seeing those 4-minute boys, even though I didn't mess up my prayers once that run. So... The staff seems to be about like 20 seconds faster overall per kill at the Hunlift, so that's pretty nice, you know, could really come in clutch for learners using the staff. We just hit 1200, nice. Oh my god, we did it. We actually got the fourth blade. Oh, damn boys. Four blades before uh, uh, we uh, get the pet, eh? I've done probably six hours post update and the staff is really pretty much like the same DPS as like a bow and the Halley so. So with these new updates it's super easy to find a boss most likely on your first initial prep and especially with the staff being so good now it's pretty much worth making whatever boss you end up seeing uh, first on your scout. I usually default to bow at the start all the time, but there's no point now since all the weapons are about the same DPS. Bro, that was crazy, man. I just like take cook that food. So with all these changes, you might be wondering like, which weapon should I focus on when doing the gauntlet as a learner? Ultimately, you're going to learn how to use all three, but when you're starting out, especially with this update, it's definitely best to go with the bow and staff because you're able to run around freely and not really be restricted by melee distance of the Halley. Halley is really hard to master. In order to produce the same DPS with the Halley, you have to be really efficient with your pathing, your clicking, and avoiding tornadoes. So for a learner, definitely do the bow and staff. And when you start getting comfortable, then try to learn the Halley as well. Because the most efficient overall long-term game for the gauntlet in terms of grinding is going to be using whatever two weapon you find first. Oh, armor seed though, hell yeah, worth. I think we're back on the average for that stuff. Very bad RNG on this run, like unbelievable. Pretty much half of all the rooms searched before I found my first tree. I usually don't complain about stuff like this, but this one is quite the exception. Yeah, armor seed, let's go. Let's go. Good luck. I got an ancestral hat. <laughs> Lol. Damn, I've been getting quite the purples recently. Good luck. Oh my god, I got another drop? What? I don't know. Okay, I just got back to back, dude. Holy shit. Did I get a back to back just now? I got a back to back. Yo, what the hell, man? I don't know how that happened, but what? my teammate jacked my crab. Like, what the heck? So I recently got into a conversation about uh, the anti-weed perk that you can get from Thai Farm that came out recently. And uh, yeah, I never bought it because I hate Thai Farm because I did that stuff four years ago when it first came out. And yeah, it was just a bad experience. But I heard it was really low uh, cost. It was only like 50 points or something. And I just remember, I feel like I might have done enough back then to have enough points 
just to get it because I mean the anti weed is really nice for farming and stuff, you know. So I checked just on a whim to see if I actually had it, and yes, I actually had points from all those years ago. Holy shit, that's that's actually super nice because like I hate going back to Thai farm, but it's already you know I can already buy it, so I'm gonna get that now. So, yeah, just doing farming for whatever reason is going to be so nice. I hate when the weed just grows right as you're about to plant the seed. No more of that crap. So, guys, I'm at the new place that just came out called Ferox Enclave. And uh, it's in a wilderness right here. Uh, about approximately level 13 wildy. Yeah. But, yeah, essentially this place is like a PvP hub. So all the PvP related activities like uh, castle wars, uh, I think even like clan wars and stuff like that, they're all here. So if you want to just you know go do some PvP activity, you just hit up one of these portals, and you're you're in you know for like also last man standing and stuff like that. But I have one cool use for this place uh, besides being a decent you know teleport to the wilderness. This place has a new respawn point, and I can buy it off of this guy here. So what can you do for me? I, I believe, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Now, I just want this to be my new respawn point because it's actually the now new closest respawn point to a bank. So I need to unlock this and... Uh... Wait, did I just do it already? That's about my respawn point. Okay, uh, no, it's good. Alright, it's here now. So there's really uh, one cool thing to do. I'm gonna, you know, let myself die and see where I respawn in this place. And it is... Um, yeah, definitely closer than Edgeville by a teeny bit. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Not bad. So that's awesome, man. Um, mainly useful for the corpse suicide method, for sure. And just whenever I do die, I guess, you know, save a little bit of time to rebank. So that's awesome, man. Yes, let's get another max cape. Oh, because now you can turn your uh, myth cape into the mythical max cape. Bro, it looks so good. Like, oh my god. It's, I, I can't tell which one's better between Ava's assembler or this one, but dude. What do you guys think in the chat, you know, YouTube chat? Which one do you think looks better? The myth max cape or the Ava's max cape? By far the best nutrient packed master clue reward I've ever seen. Three magic seeds and two use. At least like 40k farm XP or something. Alright, let's open this up. Another master. Ooh, greater demon mask. Wait, I already have one of these. Yo, I can't wait for the uh, the player own house update to come out where you can store multiple of the clue rewards. I'm gonna keep, just gonna keep these, you know, until then. Alright, we got ourselves a pretty cool monster here. 300th Elite, unfortunately, reward kind of sucked. I forgot, this thing can just give you all the all the spells in the world. Hawk. So, with regards to pen hunting via the Slayer side, and also like the rare item grinds via Slayer, I'm really low on points. I have like 300, but I realize I'm really close to 2,000 uh, task prestige, which would give me a ton of points. I only need to do like 20 or so tasks, so I'm just gonna Torio rush it and get there. And also after that, I'm gonna quickly try to get myself a Hydra task. I haven't done that task in a while. The reason is simple. I'm really low on Astral Runes. I have like 4k I'm trying to get back up. I know Hydra drops a ton and I also need the pet. And I'm just gonna try to kill two birds with one stone, so. So I recently figured out that the new spot for monkeys for Torio tasks is actually at the Monkey Madness 2 dungeon. The Crux Dungeon, super easy to get to. Uh, just you know, go through the little hole and you're already there. Just plop a cannon down and you're, you're all set. It's actually insanely fast. After a brief stint, I am now on task 1,999. One more to go. So this is it, the 2000s task. It's pretty insane, bro. I can't believe I've done that much Slayer. And I'm not even gonna lie to you, I've only done tutorial skipping sessions like maybe two or three times throughout the 2000s. So I would say 90% of it are actually legit Slayer tasks. So yeah, it's crazy, but holy shit, a thousand Slayer points, bro. I don't think when I reached 1000 way back, that was even possible because Konar, uh, you know, what the diary done, I think that's only possible if you have all that stuff done and, you know, her being uh, available now as a Slayer Master can give you that many Slayer points. It's insane. 1,000. Holy shit. I'm going to make great use of it. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. It ain't a good DK's task without a a Berserker ring. Oh, man, it's so cheap now, though. 2.4. Damn, man. Archers are the real money nowadays. The golden age of the uh, Berserker rings is it's over now, dude. Honestly. Yo, this guy's name is Straight Boob. Nice. Drake's... Where are you? What the hell? 1.6k. Oh boy, we are actually over three times the drop right now for the for the Drake's uh, whatever makes the the Val boots. You know that thing. Man, that's actually sucky. All right. Oh, we got it. The Hydra Task. Oh my God. Yes. This is a very interesting question here. You know of whether or not. I should wear the the barrel's gloves or the holy wraps. Now I checked the stats of Hydra and its defense, as I remember, is really low. So I don't even think I really need the accuracy of the barrel's gloves. I mean, you get a lot though. You get twelve, but the holy wraps is sick. You get the repair bonus. That's pretty sizable. I'm gonna try this out. You know, try out this piece of gear. Best in slot prayer goes. I'm gonna see how how good it is if it's noticeable or, or at all. I can wear the max kit as well though. Uh, I keep the same max hit. Uh, doesn't matter if I use assembler with dragon arrows on task. The max is the same, so more prayer bonus and shit. So was that the max? I just hit an eighty three with the D arrows. I think that was the max. All right, nice last kill. Uh, ended up getting oh shit. This was a, such a good trip, but I I see BA staying, so I'm just gonna leave now. But um, yeah, man, we got nine hundred astros this trip. That was awesome. Oh, sick. All right, this was a really good trip. We did 36 kills. Very nice. I mean, it's fair to, you know, it's fair to say uh, my prayer bonus is definitely allowing me to stay this long. I mean, with some restore drops and whatnot, but 22, bro. Very nice, very nice. Honestly, I don't even know what attack this is. Nice. Ellie Flake, just in case. If I miscount, put it on, I guess. Oh, are you serious? Come on, freaking zero. Worst time to get a zero, my guy. I'm telling you. This could be a PB, I don't know. It felt fast. Oh, new PB, let's freaking go. Dude, we've been waiting, man. It's been a while, dude, since my, my T-Bow truly popped out. Let's go. I guess my goal would be to get a sub-120 before I get this pet. Yes. There we go. First Hydro Tats done in uh, forever. And uh, the loots overall was 5,800 Astro Runes, so that's pretty sick. And we got a new PB, but over halfway to the pet rate. So uh, we'll try it again in another in another month. Alright, so we're going to put the uh, Astros that I got from the last trip. Oh, that looks so good. 10.5k. That should last me quite a while, man. I encountered a very interesting lag, but pretty cool though, looking at the flames like this. <laughs> Alright, we just hit 300 grand hollow coffins, 100, we're 1.5 times over the drop right now. I just hope I get it before 400, seriously. Because I don't think I need any more agility XP in my life. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing, that way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.